Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, first of all, for those who actually uh, like to watch my channel, um, I'm very, very sorry that I have been non-existent lately. Basically, I just like haven't been myself and I haven't um, wanted to make any videos or like I have all these great ideas. I have all these great ideas but I just um, I have no motivation to do anything so that's kind of where I'm at but since my last YouTube video I got married I chopped my hair uh, I got a new car got a new cat um, gained 20 pounds that's a thing today I actually felt motivated to make a video and um, I kind of want to talk about a few things. I want to talk a little bit about today about those who suffer with anxiety and depression or any kind of mental illness for that matter and um, and you feel like it's harder to talk to people about it because one, people who don't have anxiety and depression do not understand, they do not get it and it can feel very alone at times and that's why you know people isolate themselves or you know commit suicide and things like that because people you feel alone because people harp on you so for example like if I'm having a bad day or I'm in my head too much or I'm sad it's not like I want to be sad it's not like I want to be depressed it's not like I want to be this way it's not like I'm asking for this of course I want to be happy but for you to bully or bash anybody um, for what they're going through when you have no idea is really hard because it makes you want to go back in your shell and not open up about it so I'm I guess for me lately I haven't wanted to make a YouTube video or post anything because I just feel like people think that my what I'm feeling isn't justifiable like just be happy just don't be sad anymore um, get over it like but it's not that simple obviously if it was that there wouldn't be issues in the world there wouldn't be medications for this stuff there wouldn't be people committing suicide from mental illness there's there's a lot of things that wouldn't be what it is if people didn't have this so before you tell people just not to be sad anymore or to get over it to get over it, to not be sad anymore. Like, I want you to really, maybe instead of thinking that they're just trying to do it for attention or whatever, maybe talk to them and ask them, you know, why they're feeling what they're feeling. Because, you know, I've been open and I'm showing this to however many people watch it, you know, and I'm saying like, yeah, yeah, I'm depressive and I have issues, but then for people to bully me or bash me or talk me about bad about me for it makes me not want to share my journey, which is it's my choice to share my journey. It's my choice because like I've said so many times before, I just don't want anyone to feel alone and that is my goal because it sucks when you feel like you have nobody to talk to. So I just want to say that for people who do struggle with anxiety and depression, um, keep going. Don't let people make you feel even even more shitty than you may already be feeling and um, keep doing you and keep fighting and keep going and it's okay if you go through dry spells and dry spells of, this is my life, oh, curly hair problems. Um, it's okay if you go through dry spells of, you know, not wanting to leave the house, not wanting to do anything with anybody. Um, and just feeling alone like it's okay but just don't try not to stay there for a super long time which has what I've been doing actually recently so um, but the thing is I know I'm kind of in this rut so I'm trying to work my way out of it I'm kind of doing a little fake it till you make it type thing um, but that doesn't mean that I'm always happy or faking happy or whatever because I do have so many great things happening in my life you know and that's that's the, the worst part is that you know I have a new car not like a new new car but I got a new Jeep you know I got married to the love of my life I have good friends I have 
animals. <laughs> um, you know, there's so many good things that have happened in the past two months, but yet I'm still so sad and not happy. And that's the point of me doing these YouTube videos is I'm trying to find my happiness and I'm trying to open up and talk and so it's just crazy how there can be so many good things happening around you, but yet you're still not a hundred percent. You're still not okay. And you know, maybe that's with mental illness is that you'll never be okay. And you know, this is why people probably say money doesn't buy happiness because it doesn't matter how many great things you have going if you're not mentally in the right um, frame of mind. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. So. I just want to touch on that kind of why I've been MIA just I've been not I've just been in a rut and you know it just it sucks because I want to be not in it so bad and I'm looking at other sources and doing other things to get out of it because um, I do want to benefit myself and it I know it's not fair to those around me that you know care about me and they don't like to see me sad and they're worried about me and I don't want anyone to be worried about me I also you know, a lot of people talk about with mental illness, you know, being, they're, they feel like they're hard to love because, you know, there comes with so much baggage. And, you know, the thing is, it's true, like, I sometimes, I'm, I feel bad, you know, that people have to, you know, deal with me or not deal with me per se, but they have to put up with me being sad even when there's so much good around me. And, you know, that's not always fair to them. So, I mean... Do I feel hard to love sometimes? Of course, but I mean, I know I still have um, really good people around me that do care and love me and check in on me, and that means more than anyone could ever know. So, um, oh my God, you look so cute right now. Can I please show her? Um, oh, baby Willie. Willow. Okay, sorry. But anyway, so, um, that's kind of one of the things I want to talk about with you guys. It's just that if you're going, bottom line is if you don't suffer with mental illnesses, don't, don't be mean or don't, you know, try, I know you can't understand what people are going through, but try to not jump to conclusions. And if you are going through mental illnesses and things like that, and you do have people that are kind of being mean or hard on you, um, either A, are they trying to come from the good place from a good place or B, you know, they don't understand you so don't let them bother you because they don't understand and they're, they're lucky and they get to not have chemical changes in their brain that we can't help. I also wanted to talk about signs of depression. So um, for those of you who are unsure um, if you have something going on or if you're unsure, um, you know, for, I guess for me it took me a lot, it looked, took me a long long time to realize what my symptoms were um, like I always just thought I was different and I cared too much which I mean I do care too much but um, I always just thought that there's something wrong with me and you know everybody I, I just felt alone but I, I just felt like I couldn't describe how I felt like that's my number one thing is I could never describe how I felt and until I saw it in like a song or a quote or you know something like that like I could never describe how I felt and then as I got older I um, you know kind of kept seeing things about it you know it wasn't becoming as taboo to talk about even though it still is taboo but it's become um, not as taboo and people you know were talking about it and I'm like you want to know what though these are this is how I feel or this is you know what I'm doing um, lack of interest in things that you used to love to do um, that's a main one not wanting to get up from the couch um, slacking at your job not doing good at your job um, just not having the will to do anything um, not taking care of yourself um, not taking care of your hygiene um, things that you used to do or things that um, you know, for me, I guess one of my things is I quit taking care of myself, aka I've gained 20 pounds since my wedding, um, my house is messier, um, I just don't have motivation to do anything because I just want to sit on the couch all day long. And, um, you know, it's hard to get up, it's hard to want to do things, and 
Um, people try to get you to want to go out or do things and I just don't want to go. And the thing is, I used to have a big fear of missing out on things, which sometimes I still do. But now I'm like, I don't even care. I literally just want to be by myself. I want to be alone. I just, you just want to be by yourself all the time. And you kind of isolate yourself from people. And then when, um, you know, that happens, you know, people obviously I also push back from you. And then you feel like you have nobody. So it's kind of like this bad tumbleweed. And obviously you're not trying to do any of it. Like you can't help it. So um, that's the worst part about it. And sometimes you don't even know you're doing it. Um, like I said, it took me a long time to realize the things I was doing, why I was doing them. Hey, what are you doing? Is that your cat in the window? Um, those are like a lot of times for me that I experience personally. Um, so yeah. Um, you know, if you are feeling any of this, feeling these types of feelings, I know it's scary to talk about because you feel like other people don't feel that way, but I mean, even just Instagram, like ha like when there's like hashtag mental health, hashtag depression, anxiety, and you can find so many people that also hashtag those that are going through what you're going through, that feel the way you do, um, you know, reach out to somebody, reach out to a therapist, somebody that you can completely trust no matter what, um, reach out to me, reach out to anybody that you feel like is also going through these things and um, try to not get so bad that you want it to end. Those are really dark times and um, there's, not the, there's nothing worse than feeling like you have no other outlet besides disappearing. Please don't mind my garbage can in the background. Awkward. But anyways, so I just kind of wanted to um, share that with you guys. And um, I'm going to try my hardest to come back and continue to make videos. Because I also think it's good for my mental health. Um, you know, talking to talking about it and um, getting it off my chest, how I'm feeling. Lately, myself, uh, with my depression and anxiety, um, I thought I was doing okay, but I've actually had people reach out to me um, that they're worried about me, which is super sweet. I just wanted to say that lately, yeah, I've been feeling alone, um, and just I don't want to get up, I don't want to do anything, and the couch and Netflix are like my favorite things in the world, and I could care less about missing out on things, and yeah, so it's kind of just this bad spiral and yeah I'm gonna I'm working and pursuing and doing more to get out of my rut and to take care of myself and sometimes just like when your friends force you to do something sometimes you do have to just do um, something and it honestly feels better when even if you don't want to do something you get up and you go and do it anyway because then you almost it like forces you to get up off the couch and forces you to get out of your comfort zone or not your comfort zone but your comfort zone in that time um and it forces you to um get up and get outside or go somewhere with a friend and honestly i always feel so much better after i get up and do those things it's just getting up to actually do those things that takes the most to do for me anyway currently so um i just wanted to um let you guys know where I'm at um, and let you guys know don't let anyone bully you or make you make fun of you or be mean to you for what you're going through you're amazing the way you are feel free to comment text message anything and I will get back to you guys and thank you guys again so much for um, sticking with me through all this so bye